All right, so we're here at the hangar. What are we working on today? Hey, welcome back. Uh, we're doing the subframe. Working on the subframe yeah, here. for the gyrotechnic uh, gyroplane. Now, one thing, he did say, before I left yesterday, what'd you say yesterday? I said, this is your build. You're gonna build, I'm not gonna do any building. And I show up, <laughs> You could. I knew you couldn't resist it. No, I mean, he didn't do much, but here's kind of like showing the what Dennis did with this build kit. Just kind of clamps it on here. Was this easy to get on here? Yeah, yeah, it slides back and forth. Oh, okay. You know, get the and that, that I say that little pad there so it doesn't scratch it up. But here's what we're working on today. This is the extremely detailed drawings that Dennis sends you with this kit. And it also comes with a uh, 2D and 3D PDFs on a thumb drive that you can throw in your computer. So... We're going to throw a time lapse up. You ready to put this thing together? I'm ready to go for it, right, man. Let's get it. I mean, you. You're going to put it together. Oh, I'm right? going to? All right. <laughs> now, this is, okay, this is this part right here. Yeah, I think you get uh, drop two. All right. The wrenches are right down there. You can use a, this is ratchet wrenches, or you can use a, a socket. A lot of parts here. Wait a minute, what did we do? What did we do? What did we do? I just noticed. This, these got a bolt. See these highlighted ones? That's supposed to be on the outside. Good catch. Yeah. Good catch. I didn't, I didn't notice that. Our bolt gears out. See the highlights on this side versus that side. So this side has to be out. If you want it to look pretty. Yeah, <laughs> if you want it to look pretty. This is for the tail wheel. See this cut out here? Okay. I think that's for the tail yeah, wheel. Yeah, no, it goes up. It goes, goes up. goes up. Yep, yeah, that's for the tail wheel, I guess. And then it takes two brackets, or bracket 21. Label on this. Yeah, that's the same way. You want this yeah. on the outside. And how does this orient? Uh, 20 side up, just like that. Okay. And it should take, yeah, four bolts on each one. So just like that. Okay, let's push this forward. Hey, now, boy, look at that. He's got this angle set up. Look at that seam, it's perfect. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you need a little hammer to tap it in. Or a reamer. Sometimes these bolts, on, on aircraft bolts, they, they don't cut threads. They roll them, and when they roll them, see this, you can see this part expands. Mm -hmm swells up and, and it has a problem with it. Let me get a little mallet and we'll tap that in. Oh, 
like how they also put the part number in case like a strip of bolts or something. Yeah, bolts are easy to get there with the universal. Off the shelf items. You may want to. Well, did you want to put Loctite on these? No, they're no. locked nuts. Oh, so you don't have to put Loctite? No Loctite. But whenever we tighten them down securely, we need to mark them right? Yeah, just to let us know that we, we have finished. tightened them. We're finished with that piece of hard. We've got the connectors here. Right up here. All these, just yeah, the main let's, connectors. Let's do all that. Let's build them, put the mast up. And all that. Yeah. So you just want to do the subframe today? Yeah, let's do the mast, this mast first. Yeah, that's the big one. Should be. Uh, this is the lower mast if we want. Okay. And so, lower mast, what part number is it? Five? I should say five. Yep. You know, you can tell, see, there's four holes in each end, but these holes are narrow and they match up with this. Okay. I don't know where the front is, though, do you? If I hold the right bolt, it'll work, huh? <laughs> I was like, I was wondering if it was getting, it wasn't ever getting any tighter. Right. <laughs> I'm Matty. What do you think, Matt? We doing it right? All right, guys. So it's actually a couple days after that clip was recorded, and I'm sitting here editing the video, and I noticed I didn't actually describe what happens after this clip. So now what happened was is the battery of the GoPro died, and I didn't even notice it, and we didn't have any other batteries after I did notice it to pick up where it left off of recording. So what you guys just saw was we were about to put the upper part of the mast on. Then we realized that one that wasn't really part of the subframe assembly that we were working on, but it was also going to make the gyro too tall for us to even put anything up there anyways while it was sitting on the stands. So we decided to move on and work on other parts of the subframe. And what we ended up doing was we ended up putting on just this lower bracket of the seat that you'll see in the next clip. And I just wanted to put this little bit of information in there so you didn't see it, like where did that even come from? So if you guys enjoyed the video, let's get on to the next day. All right, so here's a little progress update on the gyro. How you think it's coming? Looking good, man, looking good. Got a little bit of the front mount here, a little seat mount. Seat Seats kind of go right here, right? Yep. Seats go like right there. Nose uh, wheel. Nose yeah, the nose wheel, wheel right here. Got that. It's starting to actually look like some sort of flying machine, don't you think? Yeah, it looks good. So one thing I did want to show is when you buy a kit from Dennis over at Gyro Technic, he includes this little thumb drive, and it comes with a full 3D rendering of what you're doing. So we've had a couple things that we actually couldn't see in the actual picture, and this allows you to, you know, have full 3D motion. So if we look over here, Ooh, that's yeah. what, there's a little build, the picture that comes in all the kits, which this is super detailed, but this just adds that extra little bit that you need if you can't see a certain part and you like you don't know where the hole is. So if you look right right here, we had kind of an issue with it. Luckily we had to call Dennis because I couldn't get this program to run, but we couldn't figure out if the there's a hole on the back part of this, if I can flip it over that you can see right there, right there. And you couldn't see that in yeah. here, it was, you know, you can't really see what it's actually showing. So having this 3D render really, really helps. And it's actually helped us out a lot, don't you think? Yeah, it's great, man. All right, so I'm gonna set the camera back up and we'll give oh, you guys a, oh. Another thing, you, you wanna always make sure, Dennis designed this. This is a stand, it's a roll around stand. You can lock the wheels. 
but it's perfect. It holds the entire gyro plane and you can totally assemble it to a certain point where you get the wheels on it, then you can put it on the floor. But this is actually a, a must. It really is. It's actually, and, and it's got like its wheels, like you mentioned, so you can, if you're, say we had to do something else here in the hangar, we could undo the wheel and wheel this around and get it out of the way. All right guys, so we are back at the hangar. It is actually the next day. I totally forgot to record anything else after we started. We just got, I got so lost in the build, but this is what we finished with last night. Got a little bit of the seat here. This is the bottom part of the seat brace. And we started working on this little back seat brace here, but kind of ran into a couple issues with how this stuff fits. We actually, if you can see, there's like these spacers right here. Uh, we didn't put those in the first time, so we had to kind of take everything apart there for a little bit. So <laughs> we've had to actually take this thing back apart at least three times, but it's the fun of the project. We're not rushing, but yeah, we're here this morning. So let's get to build. So this morning, I think I'm gonna try, I actually beat my grandpa here. So I'm gonna try and get these little seat, these little seat connectors here. Cause all we've got left is this middle piece here and these two sections with the well with this. So that's really all we got left is just this middle section here, this top section, the engine mount stuff, and then these two right these two rises this two risers right here. So I'm gonna try and get these on before he gets here. I don't know if I can, but I think I think he's already on his way. But we've got that and these three, these two things right here, and then this thing over here. So yeah, let's get to building. <laughs> I saw the light come on on the camera. I was just like, how come I I ain't built anything? This is my first thing I've done with it. Okay, hey, do you use it for those two and then this, this very back? What about these? Those use a different, something attached to here. Oh, okay. All right, here we go, man. Gyro technic. Who's working on that gyro plane? Huh. Hey. You and me both. Looking good, man. It's actually Looking starting to look good. like something. Yeah. This is short video. Part number 72. It is a three-blank. 72. Huh? 72. 70, 70. All right, 60. No, that's 40. 76, 75. All right here. Well, what a nice working area, huh? Oh yeah, you can see this. This is perfect, man. Light, heat, and comfort. All right guys, so we are back here at the hangar. As you can tell behind me, it is now dark out. I had to leave a couple hours ago and go to college. Had a couple classes I had to go take care of, but we're back. It's just me working on it now, but I wanted to give a quick little progress update of where we made it before I left. Now I'm not 100% sure where we were before I left off, but I know that we have the nose wheel and the, all the assembly built here. 
got all of that good to go. Uh, we finished putting on all these mounts. I don't not I don't remember if this was all done on the last clip. Uh, we did have this little pre-rotator bearing uh, here. We just added all this, put all this all together. Um, everything is kind of just loosely put together. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it rattling. Um, but we did that for a reason because like my grandpa has explained to me and like I've noticed, we've had to take things apart like four or five times because we'll, we'll get it put on the machine, turn around, and we have to take it off to add something else to the machine. So it's just a part of the project. It's not anything anybody, you know, did wrong or anything like that. It's just, you know, there's, there's just, we just do a little bit and we either put it on wrong, put it on backwards. Like these, these little, these big ones right here, we actually had to take off because we had them upside down. Everything else fit except for all these holes up here didn't line up correctly. So, but this is the bottom brace for the seat. This is the brace for the seat. And uh, yeah, so this has a castering nose wheel. So I can't really show you here, but it looks really good. Nice, nice details here on the front with that Gyrotechnic logo here. Everything just looks absolutely beautiful. So that's gonna be all for tonight for this little build video. Hopefully in the next one, we'll put this thing on the ground. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.